Do you get frustrated when you buy a new phone and then have to transfer all the data to the new device? Well, there's actually an easier way and I'm going to show you how right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, don't forget to hit subscribe followed by the bell. So when you buy a new phone, it can be frustrating transferring everything to the new device. You've got pictures, videos, contacts, messages, and it can take a long time to do. Well, luckily there is an application that allows us to do this nice and easily. And I've actually got my Pixel 3 XL here along with my OnePlus 6. I'm gonna be using the OnePlus 6 for a week and it's currently on a factory reset with no application applications, no contacts or anything in there. So you can see it's just been turned on for the first time. After being factory reset, I haven't got the time to sit there and transfer everything over. So we're going to use this application. The application we're using today is called Dr. Phone. It's a suite for Android and iOS. It offers a lot of features from recover, transfer, repair, erase, restore social app, unlock, backup and restore. But the function we're focusing on today is Switch. What Switch does is just copies everything over for us. It works for Android and iOS. And the great thing is you can even use it between the two. So you can take data from an Android phone and put it on iOS and the same vice versa. So it's nice and easy to do. And we're gonna run through the process and I'll show you how to do it. So the first phone you connect will be the source phone and the second phone will be the destination, but you can switch those at any time. So I'm actually gonna purposely plug in the wrong phone first. So I want to put my data from the Pixel 3 X Excel over to the OnePlus 6. So I should plug in the Pixel first, but I'm not gonna do that and I'm gonna plug in the OnePlus 6. Now you'll see it does try to connect, but it is gonna have a problem as I've just factory reset. You do need to enable USB debugging, but the great thing is if it's not enabled, it comes up with the instructions there. Whatever phone you have, it will tell you the instructions. So to do it on the OnePlus 6, you simply go to settings, Once in settings, you need to scroll down to about. And then once in about, you scroll down to build number and it's the same on every Android device. You keep tapping build number and it will say, you are now one step away from being a developer, but you basically keep tapping that until it says you're now a developer. Once it comes up and it says that, we then need to go back to settings, head over to system, and in here, we'll now find developer options. So in developer options, we need to scroll through and find USB debugging, enable that and press OK. And it will now allow Dr. Phone to pick up the phone. So if we press OK on that, you can see it's now saying allow USB debugging. You also get a prompt on Dr. Phone telling you you do need to allow that. So to make things easier, I recommend pressing always on this and then pressing OK. And you can see it's installing the Mobile Go Connector app so that I can use this. And it's saying here, please confirm the pop-up window by saying yes. So I'm gonna press okay here. So it normally comes up twice and we'll just press yes. And what this is, it's an SMS app, but if you are transferring messages, it does have to be your default app. So it's temporary and it will stop afterwards. So the next step is to plug in our second phone, which is the Pixel 3 XL. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in now. And as I said, I do have them in the wrong order. So I've already got USB debugging enabled on my Pixel. I just press yes and you'll see it comes up. I don't need to worry about the messages on here because it's not the source device. So as I said, these are currently the wrong way around. So we simply click flip and it will put them the right way, but it will then need to load all the data on here. So again, it's asking me to set this as my default message app. Press yes, it does always come up and ask me twice. So I expect it will come up on here in a second. As predicted, it's come up again, so I'm just gonna press OK, press yes on my phone, and now I can select what I actually want to keep. So you can press select all, and it's the same for both, but one thing I need to point out is if you're using an iPhone on iOS, you cannot copy over apps or call history, and that doesn't matter if it's iPhone to iPhone or iPhone to Android, you cannot copy over apps. But Android, you can copy over all of these features, and one thing you can do is if your phone isn't on a factory reset, you can tick that box and it will factory reset it while doing this process. I don't really need that because it's already factory reset, so I'm going to do that. And one thing I'm going to do here, I want to copy all of it, but I'm just going to untick videos as I've got some large videos on this phone, so it will take a while if we do videos as well. 
So now I'm gonna click start transfer and you'll see it goes through. Again, it comes up with this messaging thing because they do need to be the default. So we'll press yes on that and press okay. Now the other phone's asking the same, so we'll press yes on that and press okay. It will then go through and copy everything over. So you can see it's going through and copying it. This is actually going through all of my contacts now, copying them to the new phone. So I'm just gonna fast forward the video until this process is complete. So we've got through the contacts now and if we scroll through you'll see it's going through all of the images on my phone and it's nearly at the bottom and it does the applications last so we'll just have a look still going through the images we'll scroll down and just wait till it's at the apps but you can see we're already 96 percent of the way through and it didn't take very long and that was the reason i did actually disable the videos because i've got quite a few videos on there that are a fair few gigabytes big so it would make the process take longer you can see here we're now on 99% and it's just going through and installing all of the applications to my new device. This is probably the slowest bit of the process as it does take Android a little while just to install these applications. So it's nothing to worry about. You can see the installation jumps to 99%. Then it's the last bit that takes a little while. But if I scroll down, we're near the bottom of the list. So I'm just going to skip this to where it's finished. So we've now got to the end and we'll take a look at my OnePlus just to have a look. So if I scroll up, you can see I've got a lot more apps now. We've got things like Snapchat, Spotify, Twitter, things that weren't there before. And another thing we want to look at is the call cool logs. So if I have a look, call cool history, you can see there's numbers in there even though there wasn't before. And next, if we go just into contacts just to see, you can see all of my contacts are now in there. And also on my Pixel 3 XL, I do use a different launcher. So you can see I've got Nova launcher here as well, but I do need to set it up. And it's important to note when it comes to the apps, it won't transfer over user data. So you will have to log into your apps when you open them up, but at least all of the ones you use are there and you get all of your contacts, texts and other stuff as well. So after using this, it is a very easy way to transfer stuff over. For those of you that switch phones a lot, this could also be very useful indeed. Now for anyone that wants to use Dr. Phone Switch, I've placed a link down in the description below that will take you to this page here and you can see you can get the free download there. Now unfortunately, to transfer the data over to your phone, you will require a license. And for a personal license, that's just for you and it's one to five mobile devices and installed on one PC. That's $29.95 and there are other options available. Now, as I said, the links for this are down in the description below. And if you have any problems or any questions at all, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thank you for watching the video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.